booktubers so I'm here to do another tag. This particular one is the 25 bookish facts about me started by Kate's book club. I will leave a link for the original tag down below if you want to check it out. Basically the tag is I'm just gonna list 25 bookish facts about me. Let's get started. I hated to read when I was younger. I didn't read any of the Harry Potter books until I found out about the release for the seventh book and since I wanted to know what happened in the end I sped read through the first six in order to read the seventh one when it came out. I only know one person personally that reads as avidly as I do. I have never listened to an audiobook although I would like to. I am afraid to because I don't know which ones are good. I prefer to read physical books over any other format, um, ebook or audio. There's just this thing about having the physical book in your hand that I like. I always leave the same two tabs open on my iPad and that is my YouTube channel and my Goodreads page. One of the biggest pet peeves that you could do in front of me that would annoy me to no end would be to dog ear your pages. There are plenty of other things you can use to find your page. Bookmarks, pieces of paper. I've used my iPad and one time even a spoon. So I will use anything before I will bend pages. I always go on to Goodreads and update my page status every time I take a break from the book, no matter how long or short the break is. I have an addiction going to bookstores. I will go every other day. If I have to say a number, I would say at least twice a week because that's how many days in the week that I have off from work. When I do go to the bookstore, I cannot buy just one book. It has to be at least three. I don't know what it is about the number three, but it has to be three. And one of those three absolutely has to be a hardback. I don't know why, but it's this thing that I have. I would spend money on books before I would on food for me. I'm just kidding. Food's more important. I keep my contemporary and my adult fiction books separate from my YA paranormal fantasy books just because I'm weird like that. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just do it. I once stole a book from the hospital. Here's the book I stole. My friends and I once thought up a book idea about a girl who had superpowers but only while she was drunk. Little hint there, we were drunk when we thought of this. I leave my subscription page open and I'm constantly refreshing it to see if any booktubers have uploaded any new videos. Yeah, I have no life. About 98% of the books I own were all purchased since December of this past year. When I read a book, I count about 50 pages past the point where I'm at and place my bookmark in there. It is this point at which I tell myself that I will read this much and then either take a break or read 50 more pages but I have to go to the bookmark. I don't know when that habit started, but I haven't always been that way. If I really, really love a book off of my e-reader, I will then go and buy the physical book. One example being Divergent. I first read that book when it came out on my iPad and I immediately went to purchase the physical copy. I have only one spot in which I read my, all of my books and that is on my couch. This is the only place that I will sit down and read. I refuse to borrow a library copy of a book I'm certain I want to actually own for myself. I am constantly rearranging my shelves, but I always kept the authors in the series together and only recently tried putting them in color order. It took me a little time to get over the fact that I had to separate all of the series, but it looks really good and I'm pretty pleased with it. I own untranslated Japanese middle grade books, hoping that one day my Japanese will be good enough to be able to read these. I will lie through my teeth to my friends sometimes about going out because I just want to stay home and read. <laughs> My favorite book to film adaptations have been and will always be the Harry Potter series. And the last bookish fact about me is that I always, always must come back from the bookstore and film a book haul immediately. So that was the 25 bookish facts about me tag. If you guys have any bookish related facts that you want to let me know about, tell me in the comments down below and I'll talk to you guys later.